ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ ओ टू स्ट्रोक कंटेंडर राजू You were, if you're kind of rolling it to kind of get your turn, you're kind of shitting yourself a little bit. Okay, it's nice. Yeah, okay, yeah, right. sure. Okay. Mutton or chicken? Mutton night. Mutton. You know what's good actually? Mutton for him and chicken for you. No, don't know. I'm going to have most of your veg anyway, so. What? Bhakti doesn't finish yeah, veg. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it sounds like. Nice talk. Okay, I think this is it. Okay. Hey. Hi. So you're Akhilesh, yeah? Hello. He'll be riding my Yamaha for like no. a minute. Literally <laughs> like this rocket. <laughs> it's called the pocket rocket, no? Really? You didn't tell the me. The Yamaha is called the pocket rocket. Oh, the Yamaha. Okay. <laughs> I thought you named it for Bhakti. I'm like, oh, this is the pocket rocket for Bhakti. <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you own a Rajdoot? I own a Rajdoot 175. Hmm. It's it's this thing my dad left behind in my house. It was dead for That's like sure. six, seven years before I picked it up and redid the whole thing. And have you converted into a cafe racer? I have. I love cafe racers. I saw this. I saw this design coming and I was like, yes, gotta do it. <laughs> you know. Hmm. And cool thing about it is that my dad actually put a hero book. You remember the hero books? They used to be tiny carburetors. No, the mopeds, the Hero Book moped. Acha. So my dad put the Hero Book uh, air filter and uh, carburetor or to the Raj Dutt. So it was maxing out at sixty. Oh damn. Yeah. Sixty <laughs> kilometers per liter, sixty no, no. speed. Oh no no that that thing was giving me eighty kpl. Wow. Like it was mad, but the top speed was somewhere around fifty to sixty. Yeah. Oh. So, so when no. I redid it, I got the uh, original Mikuni. Carburetor and Mikuni air filters. Oh, it's so crazy! I'm scared to ride it sometimes. <laughs> so this is my Yamaha. Uh, hope you enjoy it. Why don't you have a quick spin and you let me know? It's not in perfect condition, but uh, who needs perfect, right? Yeah. Why don't you start her up? I haven't started her for I don't know a month at least. Start up without the carb, without the choke. Without the choke, no? okay. Do I? You want me to gas it? No. Give her two, three kicks and she'll start. <laughs> oh, good thing. Two strokes sound, man. <laughs> Come on, Four up. it's a five-speed. The two-stroke. And this is my five-speed. I'll be following you on.
Okay, follow me. It sounds so nice. Yeah. Which one do you like better, the two stroke or the four? Two-stroke contender. <laughs> yep, all the neutrals. We'll take a U-turn from ahead. Okay. Oh, a Bosch. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I got to the U-turn. What happened? Why is it? He doesn't like running rich. On impulse, all you have to do is stand up and you're done. Maybe the fuel is out. Yeah. I mean, I haven't filled fuel for a very long yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, same key. Yeah, this is a little fuel. You have a torch? Uh, yeah, but uh, why don't you just make it? My, why don't you just start in your reserve? Okay. Maybe we just woke her up and we like. Yeah. Come on, start running. How do you like the exhaust of the Husqvarna? Sounds really nice. Not as good as the two-stroke. <laughs> no. It's two-stroke, man. Dude, this thing... is like a rocket. Forget the brakes, forget the, the power band on this thing. Like, it starts up a little late. I noticed, like, I was in third. Yeah. I was gunning it and somewhere down the road over there, I realized that the power band is, like, a little bit higher than what the first two are at. Oh! Oh! So thrilling. Getting used to the brakes as well. <laughs> no brakes on this. Thing. We'll have a proper discussion yes. back home. Yeah. You can start in any gear. Yeah,
we'll co- we'll cover it later you don't have time But don't you get the same excitement on your on the Rajdoot? Yeah. No, it's scary. It's super scary. Is it? It's very scary because the bike is heavier. This is super light. Like this just want like it just wants you to take off. One one second, one second. Yeah. You know what you know what I really like about the bike? Yeah. That you match the leather on the on the on the handle to the seat. <laughs> and the the grab rail itself. Like it's it's so cool that it's all matching. It's super super cool. Like I really like that. That that detail is amazing. and yeah. the kilted the kilted seat is mm, but it's very nice. uh, non-existent right because uh, you don't need much on it because i i love the way it flows my i think the one grouse i have is that it so it's not set up for me i like my bikes low hmm. so the handle feels a little taller than it should be i'll tell you why because i put a 3 inch risers here ha huh. and i have uh, this handle bar basically belongs to the thunderbird x right right so What is the switch for by the way? I never I didn't see that yet. What are okay. these switches for? This is for the LE. Okay, so I'm working in the <laughs> Okay, one switch is for the LED here. Okay. And one switch is for all the four uh, turning signals to work sign. Oh, like a hazard. Okay. Oh. I'll show you. Okay, it's not working yet. It's <laughs> But no, that's a damn cool detail actually. didn't notice that till now <laughs> didn't notice that till now but overall dude gives you that feeling like you want to pop a wheelie on it yeah it does it does though out of out of respect i did like i was like no let's not do that i think that was the only thing remaining yeah no let's not do that <laughs> i could see this engine just woken up after a month and you like what the fuck is that oh like? oh no she she liked it i'm telling you she liked it she was like i think i think when you said that it's a petrol issue that maybe there's not enough gas in the tank I think that's true because when we switched it to reserve, hmm. oh, just wanted to go. She just wanted to go. Okay, so all this time you were running on no f- petrol. On, so on, I think on you fumes, were just running yeah. on fumes over yeah. here. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, it's crazy amount of you know what? What I have done is, if you have noticed, you're getting RPM, you're getting the power right from the initial stage. I have actually designed this engine. I've removed this engine. I've uh-huh. redesigned it. Every bolt. has been placed in the engine is brand new we redid Eight the jetting in the carb and all that everything nice a bigger piston i had a proper you did a full rebo huh i oh, did wow. a full rebo and uh, along with that i had a completely nice calculated performance exhaust but thanks to the cops over here okay. i could not use it anymore but even with this is a standard rxz exhaust which is pretty free yeah. to us i don't think i don't think we had to ever worry about a free flow exhaust on this bike <laughs> as long as it looks standard i'm fine with it yeah no but again because you were gunning it it sounded that loud but if you're actually riding it like a normal person it won't sound which loud which i did towards the end of our ride like when we were coming back that's right? your normal person riding oh my god no no towards the end like when we took that big u turn and all that uh-huh. after the u turn i had like i saw the i saw you said this gate we have to come through i saw it it was like the end of the ride i was like no i can't end the ride like this okay. <laughs> so, so no the, the thing is what i've done is it can be like a everyday ride a bike yeah. where the cops don't stop you and it can be like your mad weekend bike as well you yeah. just want to go full throttle yeah i i just want to go full throttle i just want to go full throttle on it but yeah. if if i had gotten used to the brakes a little bit more i could have pushed the bike a lot more i feel no it's not only on the brakes you mm-hmm. got to understand when i i did this bike around 8 years ago ah. uh i put brand new tires and these brand ah. new tires are 8 years old now so these the rubber is basically hard as f Hey man, is, they're handling pretty well for the road. Like I was throwing weight on either side, and it was still working pretty well. Yeah, but these are eight-year-old tires. If I put, you know what? I actually got a thicker tire because uh-huh. these are eighteen-inch rims. Right. And I upgraded my Impulse to eighteen-inch rim. So I have a hundred-size tire, hundred and ten-size tire of the Impulse. I want huh. to actually place it over here, but uh, uh-huh. thanks to the geometry of the design in the rear, uh, a thick tire cannot be placed because if you see the gap over here. There's just not enough gap for a thicker tire to be placed. I mean, you could always consider changing out the swing arm. You could, and then you could go one more step, and then you could go one more step, <laughs> and then you it never ends, it. does it? Yeah. <laughs> no, but honestly, it's great as it is right now. I absolutely love it. Um, there's this. I okay. A lot of people are going to give me shit for this. I feel so. There's this kit that's come out, which is basically you can convert a drum to a disc. 
Yes. I think you should consider putting that in. Give it a little more control. Uh, you know, there's a kit that has come out for converting a drum into disc on the impulse. Yeah. And that's what I'm considering right now. Because that's a bike I'm using on everyday basis. This is a bike that I treat her like a queen. Trust me, like four to five times in the in a year I remove her out. So No, but see, honestly, of, honestly, we are talking two stroke versus four stroke. This one, she wants to fly. <laughs> <laughs> brake control is very important like yeah i don't know if you were watching me like if we, if we go back and watch the video like because i wasn't used to the height of the the pedal to the uh, to the brake i kept having to move my heel forward and stepping with my heel because i couldn't like tow it down enough okay so i'm, I'm assuming the adjustment on your arch yeah. is different it's a lot higher okay now why don't we talk with reference to the power uh -huh. what is the power difference between my yamaha 135 against your arch which is a 175 by the way it's not a 135 it's a bigger piston so i'm assuming it'll be 138 One, 140 yeah. on the higher side they would have gone 5 cc up i think hmm. but um, it comes down to weight it comes down to weight at the end of the day it comes down to weight. that i'm telling you that rajdut is super super heavy it's really really heavy um, and we're talking like power weight, uh, power to weight ratios. This will smoke it any day of the week. Any day of the week, it will smoke it. It's so light; it just wants to go. The Rajdut, on the other hand, if you're, if you're kind of rolling it to kind of get your turn, you're kind of shitting yourself a little bit. Is it? Yeah, because you don't know whether the handle's going to touch the floor first or whether you're going to complete that turn. So it's kind of it's it's a will they own this situation. <laughs> But, but you did mention your Rajdur is giving an average of around a decent average, right? No, no, that was with the previous uh, modification my dad did. Or should I say it's the demodifications because it wasn't <laughs> a modification. It's like, take a hero poke, come on, a moped like carburetor and, and air hero filter. Punch, right? Hero poke. I mean, spelled it P-U-N-C-H, but yeah. It's called a hero punch. I'm wondering, I've never heard of hero poke. It was always called a hero poke, I thought. But okay, hero the punch. The hero punch is a 60cc moped. Yes. So you put a 60cc moped on, on a 175cc yeah. engine. The carb on a 175cc engine. Okay. Beautiful mileage. Absolutely beautiful mileage. Like that thing could literally go for a month without having to refill. You okay. know, it was amazing. So that's why I asked the question about the Rajdut. Because I know that Rajdut is giving you around 60 to 70 kilometers per hour. Yeah. Which is around 80 to 90 kilometers per hour. Yeah. Which is pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. 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 Pretty if you put that, no, again, but they weren't tuned the way this is. For so, sure, they weren't tuned. So the tuned. Bobby was uh, India's answer to the uh, Honda Monkey, if I'm yes. not mistaken. Yeah, but unfortunately, wow. it didn't work out. And then Honda I, came out with For the some Nami. reason, in Bangalore, I saw a lot of Bobbies. Bangalore, you'll see only two strokes. I mean, yeah. you'll see a lot of two strokes. Yeah, I've seen BSAs, I've seen, a, I've seen Nortons. I've seen Nortons, I've seen BSAs. They're absolutely phenomenal bikes. You'll respect old vehicles. You have contestants over. That's why this vehicle, yeah. whatever is the rate over here, into 1.5 is what I can sell in Bangalore. Easy. Because they'll actually appreciate this. Yeah. Are you are original? Nahi hai. Mujhe original hi chahiye. This I've actually done as for my taste. This is, it, it's beautiful, man. I mean, I love the blue. That blue. I think I, like when I came, I asked you who yeah, did yeah. the paint job. That caught my eye. It's 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 very cool. So this is this is what I was talking the. <coughs> 80s Yamaha design. Huh. So the, I mean, there's a lot of. I mean, I spent around a year on this. I did a lot of research. <coughs> the rims of the CBZ because they're thick. Oh. Yeah, and they're wide. You see the rear rim; it's a little wider. Uh, so the uh, rims of the CBZ, the spokes of the CBZ, and obviously uh, this is just the design aspect. Uh, the uh, what do you call multiple spokes? Mm -hmm. I like it. But the thing is. This is an eight-year rim, and you see, there's no rust. Obviously, yeah. I take care of it. Did you get it re-chromed? No. Not at all. No. Wow. See, I'll tell you what. In the, the bike's defense.